Hey guys, this is going to be sort of an early game uh, build and guide to the Nightbag class with the build focusing on sort of shadow and assassination. So, the points I've taken here, um, active abilities wise, Killer's Blade, which is upgraded Assassin's Blade, upgraded to deal magic damage with low health targets taking 300%, um, also heals me for 15% when killing an opponent with this ability, which just helps while questing, also in PvP, just that little bit of sort of life after a kill. Keeps you going, mob to mob. Um, I also took Shadowy Disguise, which is from Shadow, which is your basic invisibility. It also grants 70% critical strike rating um, for the duration. So you use this ability and then use a hard hitting ability which, when you use it, has a 70% crit chance, which is very good for something like Surprise Attack, which I'm using at the end, which deals magic damage and stuns them if they're stealth, which is also upgraded to reduce enemy armor. Uh, I also took Ambush, which is your basic, like, starts off Teleport Slash, um, so kind of like a Shadow Step from WoW, which also hits them. This one is upgraded to uh, cause the next attack on that target to deal 30% additional damage. Uh, these are all class abilities, except for this one, but Killer's Blade, Shadowy Disguise, Ambush, and Surprise Attack all consume Magicka, which is why for this build you want to focus mostly on upgrading your Magicka first to have a large Magicka pool uh, to get all your attacks out with only a little bit of focus on stamina um, for rapid strikes. This is a good ability, but it takes a while to execute and is mostly a filler. So you use your basic sort of rotation of abilities that use Magicka until you run out, and then use this while your Magicka recharges. Uh, the ultimate ability I've taken here, you can sort of take whatever you want. Um, I just like Deathstroke because it's sort of a really hard hitting ability that you can use when that's up. And especially if you're using it from stealth with a 70% crit rating on that, that can pretty much one shot things. Also um, with ambush, you use that and then 30% additional damage on top of your death stroke, which is pretty insane damage really. Um, you don't need to upgrade them straight away. I'm level 10, which isn't too far into the game. Um, and they're already upgraded to these like insane abilities, which is awesome. Oh, also rapid strikes, I upgraded to increase my attack speed. So that always helps. Um, so I'll just give you a demonstration of sort of the rotation that you'd use on this Kwama. So go stealth, surprise attack, and there you go one shot straight off. Um, I'll just see if I can find something a bit more uh, substantial that will take more hits that I can demonstrate for you. Alright, so I've found some Daggerfall Covenant scum, which I'm going to demonstrate these abilities for you with. Just wait for the stamina to recharge a little bit there. So we start off going stealth, open with a surprise attack, teleport slash, and then ultimate if they weren't finished off then, um, your Killer's Blade definitely would. So now I'm out of Magicka, I'm going to use this as a filler. That gets them low enough to sort of stay your Killer's Blade and finish the job. Or, yeah. So as you can see there, you sort of want to go stealth first, open with a surprise attack for heavy damage and a stun, and then sort of your ambush, teleport slash, um, and if you got the extra damage, either that into a Killer's Blade, a Death Stroke, or if you're out of Magicka already, uh, Rapid Strikes, which Rapid Strikes does hit for quite a lot of damage. Um, only thing I'm not sure of, since Ambush grants damage to the next attack, and this has six hit consecutive attacks, I'm not sure if that damage bonus is for all of them, or just the first hit. So that's something that uh, will have to be checked on. Also, I don't think I mentioned, but obviously as you can see, 
uh, for this build you want to be dual wielding sort of as a knight blade you can choose whatever you want but these abilities tend to work best dual wielding uh, just for that extra damage I also made a knight blade build guide for the bow so you guys can check that out on my channel uh, apart from that I hope you like this guide subscribe if you want to see more Elder Scrolls content and I'll see you guys later